going to be introducing our newest tool, which is another ignition reset tool for when the ignitions get pulled out of their proper location. This is for the older style ignitions, 2004 to 2011. You might be familiar with our original ignition reset tool, which was for the 2012 and newer ignitions. This one here is version 2. It's specifically for 2004 to 2011 ignitions when you pull the ignition and the ignition locks up. So you have your typical instructions here. If you want a color version or if you just want a PDF copy on your computer, you can get it from our website. Here's the tool itself. Okay. On the side you got a link QR code to this instructional video in case you want to go look at it in the future when you get a need a refresher, keep you from having to hunt it down. So the tool itself is basically this and it's going to slide in near the spindle to a spring loaded pin and reset it. Essentially just like the version 1 does, only different ignition itself. You'll also notice down here, this is a little indicator mark. It goes all the way around, and that is going to allow you to see when it's been reset, because that will move inward into the ignition. So we'll go ahead and cut here and go do a demonstration on an actual ignition so you can see how it works. Okay, we're over here at our ignition now, and we've just rebuilt this guy, so it's turning. Got a new key, repaired ignition. So typically what will happen is you'll get back to the vehicle, and you'll go to put this in the lock, and your perfectly working ignition is not turning. And that's from the spindle being pulled out of location that it's supposed to be in. Works perfectly fine outside the ignition, put it in the ignition, doesn't turn. So to reset the ignition spindle, that's where the tool comes in, and you'll want to make sure sometimes the spring comes off inside with the ignition, sometimes it's in the in the housing still. You want to get it out of the way if it's in the housing, if it stays in the ignition, just leave it there. So then we come back over here to our ignition to reset it. We're gonna have two corners. Corner one is this corner over here with the flat. Corner two is this corner down here closest to the driver. Okay, so the tool itself is going to get inserted right along the side of the wall, basically in that flat of the corner of corner one. So what we're gonna do is in insert that all the way down until this face of the tool is contacting the spindle face. And it's kind of hard to get light in there, so we're gonna show you on the instructions what that's going to look like. Right here, you can see this is the tool. It needs to be contacting this spindle face for it to be in the correct position and for it to reset it. So we'll come back over here. This indicator mark will let you have a idea of how far in or when this is touching the face of the ignition like it's supposed to or the spindle. Now you can come over here and you can gauge how far out that is and it should move about an eighth of an inch. It should move about an eighth of an inch when it resets. It's gonna push that whole spindle in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the tool from corner one to corner two. And we need to make sure that we move the tip of the tool as well. So what we're gonna do is just rotate that down there and then slide it in. See how this is, your indicator mark is in farther? 
Now they don't always work that way that easily. Sometimes you got to finagle with them a little bit. Sometimes they just go nice and smoothly. But you should never have to force it, so don't over exert it. Now sometimes you'll need to hold this spindle in while you remove the tool or it'll pull it back out again. Okay, so it should be reset. Here's our ignition again, working ignition. It's got our spring in it. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that back into the ignition. And we have a working ignition again. And that's the purpose of the tool. Hope you all like it. Hope it saves you all some time. Have a good day.